this day we are inside a brand new tutorial video yay and today i'm going to be teaching you how you can install xg blocks right here uh right there you can download it right now inside the description uh once this video goes up uh, it might take at least an hour to get the link so it will be there anytime soon so as you can see once you install it you're not going to want to mess up with any of this even though it says you know xgblocks.exe if you want to know how fast the download for this thing uh, is going to be it should take at least like a few seconds that's why my link will probably be there right away so uh yeah Here's XGVlox, it's a Roblox and CSGO hacking device. So, first of all, you can see this thing called Roblox Runner, which, XGVlox Runner, which is probably going to become a README when it comes up, just so that, you know, probably going to just rename that README, because you're going to actually want to read this. You won't be able to see what's it, what it says inside of here right now. But as you can see, I made this like nearly midnight, so you know that I've worked really, really hard on this. Heck, this one, the uh, like, just updated uh, like all of these things anyway. So here's the file. First thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to right click over here, press New, Shortcut. So this thing comes up. Press Browse and navigate yourself there. As you can see, I'm just taking away everyone else's names because that is a little bit more personal. And I'm just leaving XG Blocks in my real name over there. XG Blocks, click on XG Blocks over here and press OK. Then press Next, press Finish, and there you go, you got XG Blocks. Click on it, double click, I mean, and this thing will come up. It's just the XG Blocks runner. And I mean, like. It's pretty simple. You can like, you know, I just got the script over here, and then you. But before you put inside any scripts, you have to make sure that you have pressed mode and set that to the mode of game that you want to play. This is for CS:GO and Roblox. I'm gonna be specifically doing this in Roblox Arsenal. And there's inject into game button and execute command button, which is all very very cool. Uh, that's basically all you probably would really need to know. Like, you can put inside your code over here. All that stuff, like, just for the video, I'll write in code here. And that's basically where you're going to want to put inside your code, like this, as you can see. So how does this thing work in action? I'll quickly just take away this folder. And as you can see right here, we got a XG blocks. Well, first thing you're going to want to do is open up the thing. Then open up your web browser. I think I did that correctly. No one cares about that. Yes, I did. So, then you click on your Roblox. Go ahead, you're going to want to find your Roblox game. Oh, cool, Alex Girl. 901 is in line. And adding a few people, I was, I guess, recently in line. Ha, <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> Please don't search up these people. <laughs> oh god, they'll be questioning your existence. Anyway, go to Arsenal. You can click on that. Then over here, as you can see, it's Arsenal. Wow! So you're going to want to just press on the play button. Wait for that to load up. And as you can see, while well, we're here, here's my little uh, XG blocks runner over here. We're going to put inside a aimbot code. So once you opened it up, you're going to want to press your mode and then press inject into game. Now, right inside your code, which is just a quick aimbot code over here. And most of the time this won't work because you might actually like, so you actually need to press on execute command a few times. And then you can close it up fully because it has now been injected into the game. Okay, so here we go. Here is first ever test. Let's go. That was legit stupid. 
and funny. Okay, I just died right there. <laughs> that was funny. Jesus! As you can see, it did not exactly work. Sometimes it takes either a while to activate or you have to redo it entirely. As you can see, I think it started to work. Definitely did. And like I said, for some of the gun hacks, it automatically, like, once you look at a player and start shooting, basically, basically how this works is it will start locking on a player and it will move, it will move really quickly like this, which is also really effective, or it will just, you know, just blindly, blind monk, God. Probably should go over here. World's first. Bro, the lag. The lag! No! Pineapples! This is why I love pineapples. Okay. <coughs> Bros. Bros. How was that possible? Sound, Sandtown Hillside, yes please. Yes, sir. Also, uh, also next video is probably gonna be where I show, God, I have a mop on my monitor. Anyway, so next video is probably when I'm gonna be showing how you can get into a glitched server inside of this. It's basically where you can get infinite kills. And some other people are using, you know, those aimbot scripts and stuff on it. It's really not cool, but they can actually do the same thing. Just, you know, they have to put in your player name, which is really, really cool. Because then you can have, you know, it, you can ask him if he could actually, if, you know, equip aimbot onto you and stuff. And make sure that you both are on the same team, obviously. You're going to want to be, if you're on red team, you're going to be with a red one that is using aimbot and all those hacks so that you know that you're not gonna kill them and they're gonna take off your aimbot right away instead of just talking about this i hope you guys oh god <laughs> i think my thing gets i mean like, it does get disabled every now and again just because you know roblox doesn't like these kind of things happening in, on their website so that's why it doesn't fully work Although it technically does work, it might work for around like 10 ish minutes. And that's kind of like it. You know? Just 10, like basically like 10, 20 minutes. It would probably be until like the thing crashes. And then you have to wait a full hour until the thing restarts for you to be able to use your hacks again. As you can see, my hacks are technically gone, even though I'm the creator of the thing. I don't want myself even doing that for too long. You know, maybe like a good 10 minutes of hacking before every single person, like, you know, leaves your server. And then you, and then the thing, you know, just gets disabled. I'm doing this so I cannot really be banned myself from making this. Because if I get banned, you guys know that I'm probably going to be really sad. And I'm going to have to, you know, take down technically everything. I probably would just... If that would happen, I don't know well, what I would do. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I, underst and I understand if you don't really like these things. But the best thing is that this thing is all through Google Drive. Which means that you don't have to go through sketchy websites to get it. I also have a mega download if you guys want to, you know, use a mega download. So mega, Google Drive, Mediafire, those are all the downloads that I'll have. Uh, first one that will probably be up is probably the Google Drive and mega. And then I'll get working on the, the next one. So peace out, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I will see you inside the next one. 
on how to get into a glitched Arsenal server. Roll the outro.